At the next visit, Justine was happy with the appearance and fit. I was happy to see that her soft tissue had been groomed to close the black triangle between number 9 and 10. Together, we determined the desired shade for her final crown. We decided on shade A1 because it blended well with the surrounding teeth. With the patient's approval, we are ready to deliver the cosmetic crown using a bonded adhesive cement protocol. I cleaned the preparation with Pumice Preppy's slurry to remove any residual temporary cement. Then I treated the tooth with a 37% phosphoric acid etch for approximately 10 seconds, followed by copious water rinse for 20 seconds and air dry leaving the dentin moist. I avoid desiccating the tooth that might cause post-operative sensitivity. I desensitized with Gluma to seal the dentinal tubules and to provide an antimicrobial effect. It also helped wet the tooth to prepare for the 3M Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive Agent, which is thinned out and light cured. The inside of the crown was previously etched with hydrofluoric acid by the laboratory to create micromechanical retention. Chair side, the inside of the crown is treated with silane by Monobond Plus to act as a coupler for the crown to the cement. I used NX3 Nexus 3rd Generation Light Cured Resin Cement to bond the crown onto the prepared tooth, giving me a flexible setting time to correctly position the restoration. Applying gentle pressure with a bite stick helps keep the crown seated in the correct position during the curing process. Tack Cure Mode is recommended for predictable curing and easier removal of excess cement. I gently removed excess cement with a clean micro brush and scaling instrument. Make sure not to fully cure until the inner proximal areas are cleaned well. Once satisfied, make sure to light cure each surface for 10 seconds to complete the process. I always recheck occlusion afterwards for hyperocclusion after cementation. On the lower arch, I performed enamelplasty on teeth number 22 through 27, contouring the teeth to a natural, more even state. Obsidian glass ceramic restorations can be retained with conventional cements, self-adhesive resin cements, or adhesive resin cements. In this case, I chose bonded cementation because it increases the crown strength. Also, resin cement is very color stable, which makes it especially suitable in the aesthetic anterior zone. The results show that the lab matched the exact shade and shape that the patient had always wanted since she was a child. The aesthetic appearance of the obsidian crown exceeded her expectations by blending naturally with her surrounding dentition. This case report demonstrates how digital chairside workflow can simplify aesthetic cases. The ability to scan a patient, design a crown, and mill a provisional chairside and easily deliver the restoration allowed me to personalize the treatment plan with greater flexibility, resulting in a beautiful result. I was so happy to reconnect with my former patient to deliver a brand new smile.